Hey guys, what's up? So I'm wearing a blanket because it's cold as fuck in here, so yeah. Alright, today we're going to talk about Cujo by Stephen King. Because I haven't talked about that guy, and I really should, because he's fucking amazing. Pardon my French. Alright, so there are going to be no spoilers because I think you guys should really read the book. Like, seriously, guys. If you haven't, just go to Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, you know what's up. And just, you know, get that book. And it's not too long. Like, I think his longest is the Dark Tower series, which is like maybe seven books, eight books. I can't remember, but I read all of them. So, yeah. I told you guys I was a major stinking buff. <laughs> Right, Carrie, Salem's Lot, Misery, Pet Cemetery, It, of course, Cujo, and her dumb. Oh, I'm bag of bones. I mean, I can I can go on, man. I can go on, but I'll get right into it. So, basically, I'm pretty sure y'all know the premise, but it's about like. I was about this dog was also about like this family and their kid and them in this small town because you know Stinking's a fan of basing his books in small towns and basically yeah like family's going for kind of a rough time or something like that you know just regular family and stuff and I think their car breaks down or a car needs to get fixed, so they send it, like, so they drive it up to, you know, this place where, like, this guy can fix it, like, with his son and stuff. And they have this dog named Cujo. Now, Cujo is a St. Bernard, and he was the sweetest thing ever. Like, you know, the boy, like, with the main, you know, characters, I mean... That dog loved that boy so much, and it was just so sweet, and the thing about Stinking King is he slowly drags it out, you know, like he, like over time, he makes you feel like there's a dread, and like he slowly makes you feel deeply disturbed, because that's what he's good at, and he, you know, slowly, you know, scaring the shit out of you, because he's not gonna do it right away, oh no, no, he's going to... You know, he's going to give you a ride. So basically, Kuja doesn't stay sweet for long, though. He chases a bunny and, like, gets his head stuck in, like, stuck in, like, the burrow. And, like, you know, the rabbit's all shivering and scared and stuff. And basically, Kuja gets bit by a bat because... DK rabies. And yeah, basically, that's the premise of the story. I'm not gonna spill it for you, but you know, he, yeah, loses his shit. And I can't imagine, you know, my two dogs back at home, like, you know, because grab had, you know, just, yeah, I can't, ima I can't imagine that, you know, having to deal with them with rabies. Love them so much, man. And it's just, yeah. But it's a really good book. And it's super short. So if you're, you know, an avid book reader, you can finish it, like, probably in a day or so. It took me, like, a week or two. Because I remember a couple of pages a day, but I'm going to split for you. So, yeah. Read that shit. Or just read any Stephen King book. Because that guy is amazing. All right, I'm not gonna explain more. It's such a short book, and I'm not gonna give any more away. So yeah, just give us a big like or a big dislike. Feel free to give me fee <clears throat> sorry feedback, guys, and I'll see you guys next Monday.